I'm also running low on water, but as mentioned, there has not been anywhere to drink from. Ooh, crate. I haven't actually seen any other loose crates yet. TI adjusted contents, good to know. You know what this rover needs as well as another upgrade? Is, oh good, here we go, Oasis. Um, it needs a booster. Every good vehicle like this in a sci-fi exploration game needs a boost. It's like the Nomad in Mass Effect. Uh, can I drink from this? I can, eventually. Alright, so Toxic Caves is the next one, and I see an opening up here. Uh, there may be more in this desert to explore. Uh, I'll kind of leave that up to you guys to find out for yourselves, though. <laughs> we might come out and uh, take a, another bit of a look around later. But for now, let's enter the Toxic Caves. What's toxic about them? Do I start taking damage as soon as I come in? We don't have a hazmat suit or anything. That wasn't a blueprint that unlocked. So I feel that that either should be, <laughs> or maybe it should be something you find in here. Why is it toxic as well, and, and why am I stuck on a rock? And I can't even, like, jump. Okay, there we go. Whew. Uh, yeah, there is a rock there. I should turn my lights on. <laughs> that might help. Okay, that looks, um, nasty. Oh, what are you guys? You're, well, I can pet you for a start. Your genetic traits. You're wild animals. Because you do not look like anything that I got. I get another species. Species 2. Isn't that the same, though? So maybe it is the same as what I've already got. I'm making a chirping noise. Okay, but... Either way, so they, don't, they look different. But I guess they might just be a modified version. So that's, uh, that's green goo. That's generally not good. Can the rover go into it? Uh, ooh, 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 it can, but we take damage. All right. Even though we're inside, we take damage. Because the rover has no health thing itself. It also does not turn quickly. This thing needs four-wheel steering. <laughs> so that it could turn much more urgently. Or just rear-wheel steering, to be perfectly honest. That's usually more nimble, like forklift style. What else could we find in here? This isn't actually very good for exploring in. Over these sorts of surfaces, because it's a lot of weird different terrain oh hello we've got something here we've got a crashed ship let's get out and take a look around so what do we got here rocks fallen on it let me guess this was where all of the uh, toxicity came from Cargo destination, Tiferate 4, Origin, Gaffer 2RZ, Toxicity classification, rank level 5, very high. Extra caution required with this kind of cargo, like not crashing into a planet. Let's just leave our rover there for now. Okay, more green goo. We can zoom over this though, so that's fine. And there's another container here that's broken open. Oh, but there is... Okay, yeah, so there's some of the canisters. I'm guessing we don't want to touch this stuff. Oh, yep, I was right. But we can stand on the crate. <laughs> and loot the crate from there. Alright. Well, don't come here without a jetpack, that's for sure. We have an upgraded light, don't we? Yeah, tier 3 torch. It needs better range, like it's really good brightness close up. It needs more projection. I feel we need like a tier 4 torch. Uh, is there anything up these cliff walls? Oh, yep, another busted open thing. With another one at the back here. Take some pulse cycles. 
Do I have enough uh, resources just to make a teleporter? <laughs> no, I didn't intentionally bring things with me. I would need to find a super alloy rod for, for one, but also like obsidian and stuff. We tend not to find that randomly. So these are some more of the crates that that thing was pulling, presumably. Alright, interesting. So, I mean, it's added flavor, and it's more just random loot. But it's a very long way away, and it's not that interesting. These caves seem way too... Ooh, new golden crate, okay. Never mind, new golden crate. Hey, with a rover effigy, perfect. <laughs> I don't quite take back what I said, because cool as that is, it didn't need this larger area to contain it. Um, but, okay, that's that's now something at least. <laughs> Oops, some more caves through here. Where does this end up? Oh, the lava zone. Okay, so this is out the back of the lava zone. We have some more of our have some lavium frog eggs too cool I, they were always there i presume out the back of this area i just never got there no real reason to come this way i think i probably came around this way earlier on when i was scouting out at the start of the game but never revisited our rover is left behind but i'm kind of fine with that <laughs> Because we can recall it, after all. Ah, we should go back and go back and salvage that as well. Or at the very least, explore a little more in these caves. Um, what does our map even show? Nothing. Okay, yeah, so this is the toxic cave area, but it shows nothing about it at all. Shows us the layout of the desert now. So this all used to just be dunes, just empty space off here. They've also given themselves more room to expand if they want. Oh, they've given themselves a lot of room to expand. Well, that's exciting. <laughs> they seem committed to continually updating this game. Problem is that by spreading it out wider and wider, and your starting spots are still all the way back here, the likelihood of you actually going out and discovering anything there in the new zones is pretty slim. You've either got to give really good reason to go there, or add it as a new drop pod zone as well, like make a new drop zone around here. The problem there though is that all of your story takes place here. All of your warden stuff, and uh, yeah, the thing to like escape is in that cave with the super alloy. All of your other optional wrecks are around here. So it makes it then difficult to expand. But then that's why one of the other things they are doing is a DLC, technically, like it's shipped as a DLC, not a new game, but it's a completely different planet. So that presumably is going to be another starting option. Be the first thing that you select, I imagine, is which game mode you're playing, which planet are you being sent to? <laughs> as a convict it's an interesting way of doing things i feel honestly they could have just released it as a separate catalog item but maybe it streamlines their development in terms of if they're doing um updates to one that are like fundamental game engine updates then it gets it natively you don't need to worry about pushing that change to two separate branches but similarly, if you want to make changes to just one of them, then you've got to affect both. Oh, hello. We have a base. Interesting. Who's this then? Osgur. Okay, so we've had Jeremy. Now we have Osgur. Shouldn't have changed our itinerary. There's a reason why some part of the universe is still unexplored. I can't see anything in this hole, and there's nothing to be found except rocks, and my leg hurts like hell. Okay, so he crashed. I assume that he's the pilot of that ship back there. But at least he had a multi-tool, it seemed, to be able to start building his base out. I'm not sure where to even look for more traces of him now. Uh, also, our hydration is level as low, and I don't think we can drink the green goo. 
certainly wouldn't want to try. I tend not to find water bottles and loot anymore either, which is a shame. Oh, hello. We've got more base stuff here. Oh, that one's under the acid, though. Okay, see, this is, again, this is where we need a hazmat suit, because I don't want to just take damage and heal myself through it. I can do that, but no difference between three days or three weeks since the crash. Infinite rocks, but less and less water bottles. Did you leave any behind? No. Another energy multiplier fuse that I don't need. Super alloy rod. Didn't we need that? What else did we need for a teleporter? Osmium and zeolite. Yeah, which I've, I've not found any of. Well, I have two high quality food. Oh, I have a water bottle on me. Perfect. Two high quality food. Let's ditch this uh, iron. So I can... Okay, it take, takes a fair bit of damage, but it's not too constant. Yeah, there we go. We're dropping pretty fast, though. There's nothing even good in here. Okay, well, I took all of that damage for no really good reason, I feel. Is there going to be another golden crate under here somewhere? Is that the thing? <laughs> Is there another one underneath all of this stuff? You'd have to check it out in creative just to scout it and know whether or not it's worth diving in and exploring because otherwise the incentive doesn't seem to be there. <laughs> I've dived into the acid so you don't have to. Random loot from crates can still be good stuff. But with no terror tokens, there are a few quartz bits which, yeah, they're handy, but... Are they that useful? I don't know. Again, more unique loot would have been cool. There's no like unique resource that you find related to the toxic caves. So it feels a bit hard to justify exploring again. Some unique uh, frogs would be cool. So there's the unique like wild animals in there, which is interesting. Gives you a chance to get some more random stuff. Speaking of... Hello. Hit you as well. Do I get a new species from you? Variant 1, okay. I mean, they're just random what you get from them after all. Hello. Species 4, there we go. I don't think we had species 4. Maybe we did. I'll need to double check what all of the things that I did have were now. See if it's anything new. There's another, um... Stargate, bit the obelisk, and another obelisk. Okay, so some more like ruins signs. Presumably there is also a golden chest somewhere in this zone as well, but I don't know where it would be, and it's notoriously hard to know where you have already been to know whether or not you should go back and look somewhere. So I do appreciate that they've got the butterflies and uh, amphibians hanging around the oasis. That's quite cool. They're based on the species that you've got like wild in the world anyway. But I would also have liked to have some rare larvae, which maybe there is and we're just not lucky in having it appear, of course. Uh, but I'm not seeing any larvae on the ground at all. Like, I haven't even seen common or uncommon pop in. So, I don't know if maybe they forgot to add them into the zone? I didn't see them in the toxic caves either. Is this the... They really need to add a marker on the map for yourself. Like, have it as another uh, blueprint upgrade or something, that's fine. Like, I've got so many blueprints I haven't used. But there needs to be, like, blueprint personal beacon. I don't remember ever seeing one of those. But there needs to be a personal beacon blueprint that you can add. So then you can see yourself on the map. And if you're playing with other people, see them as well. Ooh, okay, you start to take damage if you go too far away. That's interesting. You used to just uh, get confronted with nothingness, pretty much. Or maybe I just never went far enough that it gave me damage from exploring too far. 
So there's these big archway areas. There doesn't appear to be anything, like, relevant to do with them. There's nothing on top, is there? I mean, that would be a kind of cool place to put a golden chest, is on top of a, one of the archways. This looks like an interesting outcropping. There's more warden ruins here. Another couple of obelisks and some more platforms. But there doesn't appear to be actually anything to do with them. There's no tablets, there's no entrances, not having anything show up from my uh, detection equipment either. Reminds me a bit of the zone Tenaris in World of Warcraft, which is just kind of a rolling desert where you get some random sand troll ruins, but not really much going on. Well, I think I've explored most of the zone. Uh, obviously, it's hard to know whether I've been exhaustive or not. The fact I haven't found the golden chest suggests that I haven't been exhaustive enough, <laughs> but because I'm assuming that there will be one in that zone somewhere. So in summary, the lush desert area is nice, but not as lush as I would have thought, and the resources are very sparse. And I feel that the Warden's Ruins aspect is a little bit underutilized. Like, I do appreciate it, and I like, say, whether intentional or not, a little bit of a sort of Stargate nod with the design of it, being like Egyptian obelisks and things. But the fact that there's no special things there, like even if there had been a golden crate that I had found, all it would have had is just another golden seed and another effigy, probably another rover effigy, same as the toxic caves. And it's a little bit, I don't know, bland by now, really? They needed to be unique frogs for a start, special butterfly larvae, I didn't see any larvae on the ground at all, so it seems they just forgot that aspect entirely. And while the unique animals are cool, there was only one species that I could see in the desert, and only one in the caves. And they gave me species... where are they? Species 2 from the caves ones, species 4 from the others. Now what do I currently have? Species 2, so species 2 is the same, 3, 2, 3 and four so we already had species four as well so that's not even special we can throw together something else oh that's the chirpy one hello that's you ah so species four is the one in the cave so i do already have them yeah that makes sense and then three i guess you're kind of the ones in the desert but with the additional variants yeah it must be i, I love the land shark He's probably my favorite. I want to be able to ride you. Anyway. <laughs> so, well done on the new update. I appreciate big free update. The rover is cool, though... <laughs> broken. The fact that I can then just do this. Zoink. Hi. <laughs> You've got all my stuff in it. Still. All the stuff that I didn't want, admittedly. But, yeah, that's very broken. I feel that can be very well exploited. <laughs> I don't know if it would be worth exploiting speedrun wise. Technically, you could presumably go a place with the rover. If it moves faster, like if you haven't unlocked the jetpacks and everything, because a lot of those are blueprint based, so your movement speed might not be that great. So the rover might go fast even without the speed increase. You don't get the unlimited oxygen until much later, but it was the first of the blueprints that I unlocked when I was running through them, which is interesting, but I, that might just be random. But you could just go somewhere, stuff the inventory full, death warp back to your base, and then recall the rover, and you've just got all of this extra storage. Obviously you can't do that in hardcore, but it could be a bit of a standard mode exploit. Don't know. Across a long run and a full game speedrun of this does take four hours approximately. Probably probably less once more refined, but it's a hard run to get the time to do, so it's hard to then refine it. Uh, but yeah, across that length, 
maybe it would be worth making the rover, because it was pretty cheap to make, it felt. Well, we may not have got any unique frogs from the new zones, but we did find the lava frogs from the lava zone that I hadn't come across before. Those are very, very bright. <laughs> but that's kind of nice. I do wish you could have like a tier 2 amphibian farm that was a bit larger than just like this is very basic kind of like the ecosystem i guess but where you could put frog eggs into just a, a much larger area for them to be in right because they just kind of wander around whatever location you put them on It'd be nice if you could just add a little bit more terrain feature in general because you just get the scrubby grass just popping up across the otherwise bare land like they tinge the original cracked rock surface with green to indicate like the moss stage or whatever but it doesn't really get much more than that i guess partially because of um like graphical restrictions like you don't want to just saturate it with areas you know you end up like icarus then where you just have undergrowth as far as the eye can see and it gets a little bit resource heavy but I, th I think the, the ground texture would be good to have change based on your terraform level because all of the, the cracked surface no longer makes sense when it's just painted green like this. <laughs> Still got these uh, erosion striations and stuff as well. It should be more of a grass texture now, I think. Uh, but, you know, nitpicks aside... <laughs> I do appreciate what I've done with the new update. The rover especially is the highlight for sure. I don't know how useful it's going to be. Hello. But while we're impressed with the new rover, we're a little bit underwhelmed by the new zones. They're nice to expand, but they're just so far away and with very little unique reason to go there. I think perhaps they could consider in future adding a few more unique touches. Or if you're going to add wild animals out there, make it a new species and make it that that's the only way that you can get their trait in order to make more of that species. That would be kind of what I would have expected. But for now, we're going to leave it there for this playthrough again, uh, until they add more updates into the classic world. We might start the hardcore playthrough separately, uh, or we might wait until the DLC and just do that based on the new world. Be interesting to see what they have for that. That's definitely much more exciting than just tacking on zones around the fringes of the existing map. Having a completely new planet, I think, whether or not they wanted to do it as a separate game or they do it as more paid DLCs going forward to have different planets with different configurations, I think that's cool. Be interesting to see how they deal with the ending there because they won't all have the same, like, warden stuff, presumably. It wouldn't make much sense. So I imagine they would all just have the basic, just the Sentinel and maybe Smuggler uh, endings. Maybe they'll have their own special things to discover and uncover and uh, unravel the mysteries of. We'll find out. But for now, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.